And continue to demand the city reopen the Amundsen Park Fieldhouse for community programs. Those activities were moved to other park districts after the city proposed to use the fieldhouse as a shelter for migrants. And Jewel Hillary is joining us with the very latest tonight. Jewel. Hi, good evening. Over the past several weeks, residents have loudly voiced their complaints about migrants potentially living at the field house. Tonight, the local alderman says he's waiting on an update from the mayor's office to see if a location nearby will work as an alternate shelter possibility. This isn't the first time Austin residents have rallied outside the Amundsen Park field house fighting to save their park district. We're going to voice our opinion and we're going to cry loud. We're not going to stop. We want our park safe. With signs in hand reading reopen Amundsen Park back to community. Dozens of people gather to protest the city's proposal to open the park district as a migrant shelter. My question is to you. Since the mayor won't come to us, we want you to figure out a way for us to meet with the mayor. At the beginning of October, residents say their input wasn't considered when Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration made plans to turn the field house into a shelter. We pay taxes over here. If you want to take the park away from us, then give us our taxes back. Seniors and children in the neighborhood take advantage of weekly programs, which have now been moved to other park districts. This park is in the middle of a community that we kept together. We bought things inside the park. We bought the stove. We bought the microwave. In an effort to keep the park open for the community, residents have filed a temporary restraining order against the city. It's only when it's emergency. So they, they got us on hold. While it's unclear if the field house will be used to shelter migrants, 29th Ward Alderman Chris Taliaferro says the city is in negotiations with the owner of a property at 1900 North Austin. It offers 450,000 square feet, of which 50,000 square feet the city needs in order to operate as a migrant shelter. It does come with some limitations. It does not have showers, um, but I believe we could work around that. If negotiations are successful, Alderman Talia Ferro says the field house will reopen. That is my understanding that um, if 1900 North Austin goes through as a migrant shelter, um, there would be no need to close this park. That's what community members are hoping for as they desperately plea for the city to reopen the field house, which provides a safe haven for residents. Our park is busy all the time. You know, we're keeping our children off the streets giving them something productive to do. Alderman Talia Ferro says he did invite the mayor to attend tonight's protest. And Micah and Ray, when we did reach out to the mayor's office, a spokesman told us that there is no update on the situation. Mm. Well, wow. all right. Jewel Hillary, thank you very much.